I have come here to the small town of Wächtersbach for just one reason. I read in Wikipedia articles suggesting that the town's coat of arms are something of a civic embarrassment. Turns out it isn't, but that hasn't stopped me from coming here. Because this is my life now. Now, Wächtersbach isn't for the average tourist. It has a very small historic centre with some well-kept houses, but not a lot to do, and it is a place to live in rather than to visit. But if at some point it does want to attract a tourist trade, might I suggest sorting out the car parking problem? It was founded sometime before the year 1236 and stood on an important trade route halfway between Frankfurt and Fulda. And if the name Wächtersbach rings a bell, that might be because it was once famous for its pottery and porcelain. Your grandma might have some Wächtersbach mugs in her cupboard. All fascinating stuff, but what I'm really interested in is the coat of arms. And this is it. So let's analyse its meaning. So. At the bottom here, these black and white lines are taken from the coat of arms of the Counts of Isenburg and Budingen, because at one time they owned Wächtersbach and five of the villages that were later incorporated into the municipality in 1970 and 71. The remaining two villages were ruled over by the Forstmeister von Gelnhausen family, and this family is represented by the Wolfsangel. Wächtersbach itself is represented by a watchman and a wavy line for a brook. Why? Because Wächter's Bach literally translates as the watchman's brook. There's only one problem with this. That's not what the name of the town means. It's from 13th century German and it actually means the brook which feeds a pond. Yeah, I very much doubt that this is the pond, but I'll pretend it is. It's a pond. The coat of arms was adopted as recently as 1982, and according to Wikipedia, the inclusion of a watchman is a mistake. The people who designed the coat of arms were ignorant of the true etymology of their own town's name. This is, allegedly, very embarrassing for the town, which has spent a lot of money promoting its erroneous watchman. One of the first things you see when you leave the railway station is a watchman standing by, well, a brook, I guess. And when a certain Rainer Kretschmer was mayor in the 1990s, this fountain was commissioned and placed right in front of the old town hall. If Wikipedia is to be believed, then poor old Mayor Kretschmer will always be remembered for an embarrassing mistake. But in actual fact, the coat of arms of the town of Wächtersbach is an example of canting arms. In heraldry, a cant is a kind of a play on words. So, for example, the Shakespeare family coat of arms has a spear in it, because Shakespeare. The Dutch town of Hensbroek has a coat of arms that plays on the fact that the Dutch name sounds like it should mean hen's breeches, but in actual fact means something more like Henry's Brook. And so the coat of arms of Wächtersbach it really isn't any different. In other words, there is no reason to suppose that the town council didn't know exactly what it was doing. But Wikipedia went further. It alleges that Wächtersbach had never had a coat of arms before. Alfenau, one of the villages it incorporated in the 70s, had a lovely coat of arms, and so Wächtersbach wanted one. That's a very entertaining story, but then how do you account for this? This is a much older version of Wächtersbach's coat of arms. Here it is again, recently restored but historically accurate on what was, coincidentally, the living quarters of a real watchman. The current version of the coat of arms does indeed date from 1982, but the watchman by the brook was taken from the older coat of arms which really did exist. In this version, the watchman stands guard between the town and the forest. It is, of course, possible that the people who designed the original coat of arms made a mistake. But the mistake was made then, and not in 1982. Or it was just a deliberate play on words. If anyone knows for sure, please tell me in the comments. Mayor Kretschmer, who died in 2017, can rest in peace. And just to drive home the point that whoever wrote that article didn't do their research very well, 
I've seen an example of the old coat of arms in use in 1975, so where the idea came from that Wächtersbach never had one before 1982 is a complete mystery to me. Check your sources, everyone. Check your sources. As I said earlier, Wächtersbach doesn't really cater for tourists, but if you'd like to visit, there are regular RB trains from Frankfurt and Hanau, and it's also a stop for RE trains bound for Fulda and Bebra. From Fulda, just take an RE train bound for Frankfurt. Those with mobility issues should be warned that there are a lot of construction and renovation projects in the historic centre right now, so expect trip hazards and makeshift footpaths.